The buttonhole foot on your Molly works with the one step buttonhole stitch and it is so fabulous. So this foot actually measures out the buttonhole for you by referencing the size of your button. And so what you do here with these two little plastic guys is you move this up, pop your button into this space and then move this down till it's nice and snug. And then this will create the perfect size buttonhole for you. If you're concerned about the size of your buttonhole, how it's defined is the space between here and here. So don't worry that it's this entire area here. It's right here. So if you wanna make a buttonhole that's just some arbitrary length, like an inch or three quarters of an inch, measure between these two plastic guides right here. The next thing we need to do is to attach the buttonhole foot to the machine. So we will remove any other foot that might be on there. And the buttonhole foot simply snaps on. When you put the buttonhole foot on, make sure to lower the buttonhole lever and place it behind this little white plastic tab. Don't put it in front. To set up for a buttonhole, make sure your width is on five. Turn your stitch selector to the buttonhole stitch and set your length within this little buttonhole range right here. Now, for each project, I'd recommend testing out your buttonhole on the fabric that you'll be using to determine which length is best for your project. Also, at the end of every buttonhole, when you're finished, bring your needle out of the fabric and you'll click this over to the reset and back to the buttonhole symbol in order to create your next buttonhole. Let's get stitching. Slide your fabric underneath your buttonhole foot and I've got a piece of tearaway stabilizer underneath my little faux button band here. This is a good idea for any fabric that you're doing a buttonhole on. Make sure to put a little piece of stabilizer behind it. And then I'm going to start sewing by sinking my needle down into the fabric with my hand wheel for a couple of stitches. And then I'll give it some gas with my foot control and it will take me through the buttonhole. The first thing it'll do is sew the bar tack at the beginning of the buttonhole and then it will move backwards and sew the left leg of my buttonhole. And you'll see that it's starting the bar tack at the back of my buttonhole now. And the last thing it did was the right leg of the buttonhole. Now, the machine will zigzag here continuously until you stop it, so I'd recommend letting it zigzag three to five times and then raising your needle out of the fabric and cutting your thread. The needle is up. I'll raise my presser foot take my fabric out. And then you can clip your threads. You can leave your stabilizer in place if you have more buttonholes to do. And the next step is to open our buttonhole. I like to use a buttonhole cutter and I'll show you how to use that next. So this buttonhole cutter looks like a little chisel and I like it a lot for opening buttonholes because it's the safest way to do so. So what you can do is lay your buttonhole on a little cutting mat and start from the outside and go in and jiggle it a little bit to cut through and you can kind of raise up your fabric, make sure it's cutting through all the layers and then repeat on the other side. There we go and my buttonhole is open. And then I can remove my stabilizer by supporting my stitches and tearing it away. And that is your buttonhole. Now, how long your buttonhole is, how far apart they are, how far away they are from the edge of the fabric, that will all be indicated in whatever pattern or project you're following.